Hi Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on with your person. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It says, I've been working on myself, and I'm not the same as I was before. I want to reach out, but I just don't know how. Okay. I knew you were the one when I met you, and I'm afraid of commitment. Why does this one come out? I'm afraid of commitment. Okay. It could be caught up in a karmic relationship that is under the deck. So... Okay, let's see what's going on with your person, this person who is thinking about you. So they've been working on themselves. We have the Knight of Wands. They're kind of a player energy. Maybe they don't want to be that way anymore. Maybe they want to change. That See, they're afraid about relationships. They don't know like maybe how to be a good partner. It's kind of a – maybe they grew up in a home where they didn't see partnership or loyalty or, you know, that type of dynamic. But it's like they want to go in that direction is kind of what I'm getting, but – I just don't know how. I want to reach out, but I don't know how. Four of Cups, Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. They could be already be in a relationship, or you could be in a relationship. But that aside, they could be going by your home for some of you, seeing where you live, something like that. Maybe they've driven by a couple times, but they, but they didn't get out and knock or, or you know ring the doorbell or something. What is this? I knew you were the one when I met you. Three of Cups. Five of Wands. Ooh, got two more. Six of Cups and the Ten of Wands. I feel like you're feisty. I feel like you're fun. I feel like maybe you guys met at a party or maybe you met at a sporting event or something. Uh, could have been, you know, some drinking, some, you know, I get boxing or soccer or something, Five of Wands. But maybe, again, you guys just had good banter. Um, there's something here that's heavy about the past. Six of Cups in the past or Six of Cups heavy. Maybe you guys have something in common. Some of them may be like a driver, a UPS driver or Uber driver. I'm getting that for some reason. But um, listen to your intuition. The person may have just been weighed down or, you know, is weighed down. They may have they may have kids, several kids, something like that. But there's something here about like just their past weighs them down. And you seem to know that. You seem to know that this person is a lot of fun, but they got to let go of the baggage. Okay, so... I'm afraid of commitment is the last card out. The Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is kind of a commitment card, though. But I feel like they do want this Page of Swords. This person keeps track of you. Yeah, they want to talk to you. They could be an air sign. They want to reach out. You can see that right there. They're afraid to reach out. Maybe a Scorpio, but there's been no communication, right? Lack of communication. They could be with another person. I don't know what I kind of picked up. Was that someone could be jealous? that they know that this person likes you, Sagittarius, but possibly there could be uh, like a baby mama involved or something that they have to support the kids or something, but there's no love. The devil, I'm sorry, death tells me there's no love there anymore or that's over. Maybe, you know, they have someone stalking their phone, watching what they do. They do want to, they do want to communicate though. This page of wands would be you. So why are they so afraid of commitment? One more card. Oh, it's more or less they, – maybe they don't have the funds. Maybe they already pay out for other things. Maybe they're afraid of, like, when they get in a commitment, they have to pay for everything or something like that. So it could just be more of, like, a money thing than actually a, you know, feelings thing. But what is your person feeling right now? What are they feeling right now? They're running away. That's been coming up lately. They're running – that one says fear of commitment too. It says they don't want to be tied down. It says too much too soon. Okay, so now you kind of know where their headspace is at. You may know why they're acting how they're acting. Let's go back to the tarot here and see. So there's a decision. Something else is over. They walked away or left something. The Six of Coins and the High Priestess Star card. I really feel like this person is attracted to you. They really like you. You really um, are different, I feel like, to this person. They have ended something. Obviously, you can see that here. They're still maybe attached to it. Maybe they're paying something off or whatever. But High Priestess, this is intuition. Come back around. I feel like your person has some things to take care of, you know, like some debts or, you know, anything like that. Let's see, the King of Cups. They really want to be with you physically. You can see that there. Four of Wands, the Seven of Swords. 
I got what's coming in. Maybe it's a wish fulfilled, and the outcome is justice. I feel like your person will actually do something. They'll step up to the plate. They'll take some sort of action. What is the Seven of Swords here? It could be an earth sign. It could be working on their finances. That has come out in a couple different readings. over. The, it's been a couple weeks now where people are having to work on their money behind the scenes. It could be having some financial issues. They're you know, trying to get it together. So I I do feel like your person, almost like they're cleaning up their place, getting their place straightened, things like that. I think this person sees you as high value and it's like you, you make them want to change, change what they're doing, who they are, become a better person, that type of thing. Maybe they have to do these things in order to sleep with you because it's definitely on their mind. We do have Libra, Scorpio, Leo, Geminis here, Pisces. Okay, what is this person? One more for this person. Oh, you giving them the cold shoulder ever since? So there's something here where you don't reach out or talk to them, or maybe they feel like you're giving them the cold shoulder ever since you met. You could have been out with friends. You could have been out dancing or something like that. Three cups, the way it's coming up. Also, you, if they were with somebody else and they haven't wrapped up that situation, some of you were like, nope, we're not starting a third party. You turned your back to them and you're just like, uh-uh, take care of that before we get involved. So I do see that. If you're dealing with, if this person is an earth sign, um, they've been going by your home a lot is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, they definitely check you out. And some of you, if, they, if they're around you, and they are definitely like taking, you know, Double looks, double glances, looking at you as you walk by. That would probably be for those of you that maybe work with this person or in school with this person. Something like that. That's kind of what I'm getting there. But, yeah. See, a lot of spying from the earth sign. Yep, spying on you. Exactly what they're doing. Holding back, holding back feelings. This person could be starting a new job. They could be overwhelmed right now, but they're saving their money. I don't actually see them being overwhelmed with just spending, but I just feel like they are. I feel like they have been working a lot to improve their situation. So that's good. I like that this person takes like ownership. Okay, what else is this person doing, Sagittarius? So if you are dealing with someone and there is like a third party or, or, or let me say a third, third situation, they are getting out of that. That is over for the most part, okay? Lovers. Yeah, not moving forward. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. I feel like some of you cut this person off of sex and you said, no, we got to, like, you know, be in a relationship first. And that way you tested to see what they're really thinking about. And that worked. They're actually thinking about a relationship because of that. Okay. Uh, what is your person? What is this person doing? They're going to be reaching out soon. Passion is definitely, definitely there. You guys both have. Um, Similar feelings for each other as far as the chemistry, the spark, how you feel about each other. Because it just feels right to be together. So you could be receiving a text. They will be chasing you, coming after you. They're unhappy where they're at. But again, I'm kind of getting like a clean it up. Like you're like clean up the past situation. You know, get rid of that, take care of that before we start anything new. You may be unhappy. But honestly, on this card, it does say jealousy. And I do get another person, and I have to say, it feels like a feminine, but who is jealous of the situation, jealous that this person is going towards you, that they like you? Because I think this past person still likes them. What is this grass is greener card? Can you clarify? Chariot. Someone, someone drives by your home, this is somebody else, and checks up on you or reports back to someone else. There's like two people talking about you. So, I don't know if you've noticed that or felt that. Um, if you do, by any chance, work in the, with this person, there is a, a negative dynamic here. Someone could be calling you out. Hopefully no one's your boss that's like causing problems. But someone could be like calling out your work or taking... It's not really taking credit for your work, but there's definitely something here like you're working on. You seem to be ignoring it. You seem to be able to handle it well. Just keep putting your head down, putting in the work on yourself, whatever you're working on. So, heartbroken, thinking of you, wanting to talk. I think this is a person who likes to stay up late at night and talk. 
but I feel kind of like, again, you may have cut them off from that as well. You need your beauty sleep. Listen to your intuition. This person just can't let go. They're always thinking about you. They're very strongly attracted. They don't show it or they have a poker face, but they're under, yeah, I like that, like stress and anxiety. I, I liken it to maybe work, a situation that they're doing, but it could be that you are not responding to stress, right? Restless. Okay. What is the uh, message here for this reading that Sagittarius needs to know? Someone's going to take a leap of faith. Unplug, have more fun, will help strengthen this relationship. This is a soulmate, soulmate connection. Okay, and under the deck it says play hard. So another card of having fun together. You guys seem to have very similar interests. Uh, you seem to make each other happy. Let me grab this one deck and see what else they're feeling really quickly. And then denial of unspoken truths and sad. They had an opportunity, I think, to say something. Under the deck, they feel afraid. That may also be why they're anxious. They had a moment there where they could have said something, been a little more open, been more, you know, vulnerable with you, but they chose not to. And which is understandable, but they regret that. They should have just said what they're thinking or feeling because you may have gotten the wrong idea, like they weren't interested or something, like they held back too much. All right, what do you see in the outcome with this connection? Sagittarius magician I'm holding the deck upside down but not to be magician victory ten of cups five of swords uh, they're not they're getting out of something they're not manifesting this past situation they're getting out of it and they're moving forward something new perfect the full energy yeah, there's some entanglement here because it's coming out here as well as far as like getting out of a past situation. I think you did, you chose good Sagittarius by like holding back and, and making them, you know, step up and wrap this other, you know. They could also be moving out of a home, a family home, something like that, getting their own place. So I think you're going to hear from this person soon. I see them working on themselves just like it said because that's what it said here. I've been working on myself. I'm not the same as I was. Whatever they were doing before, they could actually be running, physically running to get into shape also. So, all right, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.